right, guys, uh, today on Practice Strokes, we're going to be using just a couple of colors. So we have licorice, daffodil yellow, apple red, and wicker white. And I've got a pencil and we just got some art paper. And what I want to share with you is doing a bumblebee. All right, so I'm going to make it bigger so you guys can see really good. <laughs> okay, so we've got the head part of the bee and then it gets really smaller there and then we have a big rounded area here so it doesn't have a point on the tail or any of that to sting you with so I just want you to see that we are going to make it large knowing that you guys can just downsize it okay so I'm going to come here it's important that you see that we're going to have some great looking wings and they're going to come out and then they're going to come up and usually I put another little one in here so it comes out from the, the neck there and then comes back and a little one in there now what's going to happen here is the difference this is going to the wing will come up over here kind of but we're going to do all this underneath first. So it's a zigzag in here. And then um, this is going to be gold in here. All right. And then white down here. So gold, black, black, gold in the middle, and white down here. And then I can do a little bit of a stripe up here of yellow. All right. So I just want you to see. Um, the difference of what we're going to do here. And I'm going to use a small six to, to start showing you. And the first thing I'd like to do is to take yellow and we're going to take and put yellow all in here. See with my pencil, you can still see it. Now, just imagine you're going to be using six and twos to get, to get um, your color normally. All right. And I'm using the six to base coat this in because I want it big. Now, the hardest thing here, I know the reason I put pencil for the wings is that you're not going to see a white wing on um, the white paper, right? But so now what I'm going to do is I usually use my double loader, but I'm using this paint right now to show you on the film plate what we're going to get, the look we're going to get. So I'm going to come right here. I've got water on that ferrule there. I'm going to come right along here and do, I'm gonna turn a little bit, let's get a little closer. I'm gonna get right here, all across here. Let me go across here first. Okay, then I'm gonna just do short little fuzzy, fuzzy hair <laughs> on the B. Okay, so fuzzy, fuzz, 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 fuzz. Okay, now I'm gonna get more paint and right in here, it's gonna go just like this. Cause this is the neck area where the wings are gonna come. Okay, and I want it to look like you can see those little lines so it looks fuzzy, all right? Then I'm gonna come down here and the white wing is going to go over this part. Okay, what I'd love for you to do is watch this over a few times. And then as you're painting it with me, you turn it on. You do the first section. When you get it like you want it, you turn it back on and you can keep watching. Okay, now I'm going to come all the way down in here. I do want white on his bottom there. Okay. I didn't pick up black that time. See on the white background, I can leave white, but we um, are going to go ahead and come in here with some white and just put this in here. But look, I'm going to do a little 
short strokes. Just remember this might be a two flat instead of a one flat. All right, now one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wipe that off the brush and you saw red here. So what I'm gonna do is put yellow with some red. Okay, and get that nice blend in there. Now what I, what I like is showing some of that red color. It can be orange, it can be red, just gives you some pretty shading on your yellow. Now I have put a little white in before to get a glow right on the top, right here on the top, like the light would hit that part. Just a teeny bit and makes a difference, believe it or not. And then I'm gonna come right in here and pull some red along in here. Now, if you put too much red, what do we do? We put a little bit more yellow back in there. Okay. Or same thing, you take your licorice in there. So this is going to be a fun, quick little B. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take some floating medium. And the floating medium is what we use instead of water. And I want this uh, wing to be kind of transparent. Now you can make it a solid white, but I'm thinking that we, this will look better with a little bit of floating medium. And then what I'm gonna do, that's dry enough, I can go over it. I'm gonna come right here and I'm going to take, I'm gonna get a little bit, let's make it a little bit gray in here so you can see it. Okay. And let's pick up some more white. And the pencil lead will be gray too. Do you see that? So I'm gonna come back. I keep picking up white. And I'm gonna pull that white, which makes it look a little gray. But do you see how that wing goes over the black? So um, I can then come in here, do the same thing here. I'm gonna bring this little piece. It's a little short wing in here. This wing comes over it. And this transparent white goes right there. Okay, so there you go. Now I can ever so lightly with the chisel come in here and to get some little veins in here. Now, if this is on a different color, you could make those veins white. Right here, I'm going to come right here across this. I'm going to take the gray along there where the lead is. Okay, just fill this in. Just remember, I can come right in here with more white. Pull this little part of the wing down. I was going to show you, you can make it more white like this. And I can take that to the other side too. I showed you a couple of ways to do it. Just remember, all of this works. I'm going to take this on top of here. There we go. Now, when this totally dries, I can take a little teeny liner and um, do just a little bit more. I'm going to pick up this little small brush and show you that. With a six, one little thing that looks good is I can pick up a teeny bit of white on the six and I can put just a little bit in this full part right here. A little highlight. All right. And what happens 
Let me put this black back here. I'll show you again. See how I, I like to do something and come back and fix it. I try it if I don't like it. I want you to see how easy one stroke is. If, if you have a different idea and you want to try something different, then it's easy. So, so this is all fuzzy, uh, fuzzy black ball there. But right in here is where the body is. And that's still part of the head or right in here, OK? So, all right. And so we love putting this B. It can be in a lot of places. I want you to see, I can get some medium and pick up some licorice. If I want this to really stand out, I can come along under here. And that gives it some cool shading. If you went and looked at my drawing class, I teach you how to shade and paint a really pretty B right here on YouTube. And as part of the lesson on drawing and design. Okay, see how that gives us some depth. Now, I'm going to come in here with a, my two script liner. And I need, I have to use water on this. So it was a little bit damp. So then I can put detail in here. So I don't, sometimes I do put antennas. And sometimes I don't. Then I just come in here with the little legs. Okay. But then you can also touch and bring some legs down here. Okay. He looks a little funny. <laughs> okay. Y'all didn't see that. We'll cover right over that. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so what happens here? They come out and in, out, and in, and put a little. All right, and so you can leave these two off, or you can put them up here like this. So you wouldn't put all these legs, okay? All right, so. It looks more like a spider, right? A spider with all that color. So I think what I'm going to do is take off these bottom ones and just leave the two top ones. Okay. Check out, I have butterflies and dragonflies and all kinds of ways to do that. On um, my, I have to tell you, I have a great three hour lesson on onestroke.com. Um, and it is called uh, Stroke Studies. And it's all kinds of insects, the whole three hours. And it's a three hour video where you can paint everything you can imagine from dragonflies, bumblebees ladybugs and more okay so check this out try doing it with me and try doing different things that make you happy and legs or no legs antennas or no antennas just have fun thank you for being on today and i hope you enjoyed that little lesson practice strokes practice makes perfect and one stroke is easy to practice and there's no mistakes see I fixed whatever I didn't like. Okay. See you next Friday. And please share. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.